Oh, not even Jay-Z is safe from 50 Cent's incessant trolling of Diddy and serious legal issues. 50 Cent is coming. Mm -hmm. And, you know, four months later in the club hit and it was over. Diddy ain't catching a break anytime soon. In fact, even if he was thinking about catching his breath, 50 Cent won't let him. The music mogul has had a lot on his plate these past couple of days with the feds raiding his home. And to make it worse, 50 decided to poke fun at him. But wait, there's more. 50 being 50 didn't stop there. He dragged Jay-Z into the drama as well. Yes, the same Jay-Z who was friends with Diddy for years, but abandoned him when everything hit the fan for the record executive. Jay-Z, over the course of his career, and I have to still say allegedly, has done things and allegedly participated in a lot of things that the public would not be happy to know. Strangely enough, 50 is giving out advice to the rapper. He is asking Jay to save himself before Diddy decides to take him down with him. And even though 50's words are laced with mockery, Jay-Z might want to hear him out because for once 50 is right on the dot. Diddy might be feeling all types of bitter about Jay-Z turning his back on him, and he might just try to take him down with him. Just what happened? Will Diddy snitch on Jay-Z? What exactly did 50 Cent say? Welcome back to Celebrity Buzz, where we'll talk about how 50 Cent warned Jay-Z to save himself after Diddy snitches. But before we give you guys the tea, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. The reason why they have or they're already living separate lives and we may actually see one of the biggest divorces in Hollywood is because Jay-Z is up next to be exposed. Let's get one thing straight. 50 Cent has never backed down from making bold statements. Whether it's dissing Madonna or taking shots at Puffy, this guy doesn't give anyone a break. And his recent target turned out to be none other than Jay-Z. And if you're wondering how that happened, well, it's no secret that Diddy's living his worst nightmare. He thought he could do everyone dirty and walk away scot-free. But man was he wrong. Honestly, it's understandable why he believed that. He walked around for years without ever facing the consequences for his actions. But thanks to Cassie, the tables were turned. Lawsuit by R&B singer Cassie claims that she was in a years-long relationship with Combs that also involved beatings. The singer claims Combs trapped her in a cycle of abuse. I didn't know Cassie, but I knew somebody who was going through the same thing she was going through and that was Kim Porter. Cassie opened the floodgates. Folks followed her lead, and suddenly, Diddy was buried under a pile of lawsuits. And just like that, everyone who wanted to be close to the music mogul changed their priorities. I mean, even Diddy's BFF, Jay-Z turned his back on him, which is understandable. Jay-Z's no amateur. He's been in the business for decades, and he knows how to protect his millions. He wasn't going to risk it all for the sake of a friendship, but it looks like Jay-Z needs to think about his next move as well. Why? Well, it's pretty obvious that during all those hangouts and wild parties with Diddy, Jay-Z might have learned a thing or two from him. Heck, fans think that the reason why the two bowed along in the first place was because of their similar interests. Like to conveniently forget what age Foxy Brown was when he was with her. Um, Y'all like to forget that he was rolling with R. Kelly and they was doing a lot of things together. And so bearing that in mind, some folks think it'll be Jay-Z's turn after Diddy. YouTuber Storm Monroe has similar thoughts. In fact, according to him, Beyonce thinks so as well, and she's already planning her exit. Word on the street is that the pair is currently leading separate lives. I knew about two years ago that, well, I knew about a year before the Diddy stuff went down that that was going down first. Then it's going to be Jay-Z. As for when Jay-Z will be exposed, well, according to Storm, you should probably start expecting to see him in the news once everyone's taken their shot at Diddy. Once they're done with Diddy, right, and um, this is going to be going on for some time, but once, I guess you can say the public humiliation, after they are done with Diddy, Jay-Z is up next to be exposed. And guess what? Storm Monroe ain't the only one who has predicted Jay-Z's downfall. 50 Cent is on the same page with Storm on this one. In fact, he is so sure that he is out here advising Jay-Z to save himself before it's too late. And guess what? He warned him in the most 50 way imaginable. On March 26, 2024, 50 Cent posted a picture of a milk carton on his Instagram with Jay-Z's picture and a missing ad. He captioned the photo, anybody seen Jay? Puff said he ain't answering his phone. 
he seemed to be poking fun at the fact that Jay-Z abandoned Diddy during his time of need. Leave it to 50 to always rub it in his rivals' faces. Safe to say, he seems to be enjoying the entire situation a bit too much. He also posted another picture of Jay-Z waving at the cameras at a red carpet event with the caption. Here is Jay-Z last reported seen waving at Puffy Jet. It looks like 50 couldn't be happier about Diddy's downfall, and let's be real. It's pretty understandable since the two never really got along. After the raid at Diddy's place, 50 posted a doctored video of Donald Trump. Puffy, 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 you stupid ass nigga. I told you stop fucking with R. Kelly. I said grab them in the pussy, don't kidnap the pussy. They raided your shit, I see. For context, Diddy used to be tight with R. Kelly back in the day. But then he got busted for some serious crimes. And though no one looked in Diddy's direction before, they all realize why these two got along now. What's more, 50 also fueled the rumors about Diddy sleeping with Meek Mills by asking for the footage. I got a courtesy call when they raided my house. You really fucked up, up my nigga. Can I get a copy of the Meek Mill sex tape? And if you think he stopped there, well, you better grab your popcorn. It seems like 50 was just waiting for the raid to happen because as soon as the news started making rounds, 50 posted on Instagram saying, Stuff just got real. The feds in all the cribs, damn they got the kids in cuffs. A few minutes later he posted a news article covering the raid with the caption, It's not Diddy do it, it's Diddy done. They don't come like that unless they got a case. Honestly, 50 and Jay-Z never got along. It all started with Jay-Z dropping the lyrics. Go against Jigga a word is dense, I'm about a dollar. What the F is 50 cents? In his song, it's hot. But deep down Jay-Z knew he was playing with fire. According to Rockefeller engineer Young Guru, Jay walked in the studio, he said it before, but I'm telling you how impactful it was. He walked in the studio, and he was like, yo, this dude 50, you're going to have to deal with him in the next couple of months. He said it to the whole crew, you going to have to deal with him. And it looks like he was right all along. And that's all for today. What do you think of the entire situation? Is there more to the drama? Will Jay Z address the situation? Will he be exposed next? Does 50 have more to say? Let us know what you think in the comment section below and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. We will see you guys in our next video with more updates from the celebrity world.